Hello and welcome. I hope everybody's well. Today I'm doing a short review on Rex's Accu Seasons for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And probably the best way to do it is we'll run through their own web page and then I'll show you the the UI and we'll get into the sim and show you some of the results. Um, okay. This is a short video from the uh, website, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, descriptions in the box below the video. It's only 38 seconds long, but it's it's worth watching. It gives you an idea of uh, how the seasons change week by week. Let's have a look. Like I said, I use this in when I fly it all the time. It does make you feel it's it's the you know the actual season you're flying in. So yeah, little short video off the site, which is worth uh, taking a look at. Okay, so this is the website on um, the sales website, and there's a sale on. I think it's for one more day, maybe. Um, it's well worth getting at thirty percent off. It's the video we've just watched on this is explaining that it's uh, it's it's got dynamic auto minute automation, whereas every time you load up the Rex Accu Season app. Before you start the game, it injects that day's or that week's um, season into the sim. So if you didn't obviously ward, in, if you didn't autumn, it'll change it slightly. If you haven't used it for a while, a couple of months or a month or a couple of weeks, and you've gone from like summer to autumn, if you were to run this first, it will inject um, like autumn colours into into the sim. Pretty good. Or you can set it up to run every day, and it'll change. It'll slightly change it every day. Um, further down here, you'll see a couple of screenshots of the presets. What come? We'll, we'll take a look in a minute. What come with um, built in to the app? So obviously, there's your winters going right through to autumn, spring, and summer. Pretty good. You can also download the user guide. Uh, also, in certain areas, it's only it's got three in now. I'll show you. It's got um, certain enhancements for certain areas where they change the trees out completely. So, where um, in Florida, it may not have certain types of trees in Florida they, they removed them and replaced them with more accurate looking trees um, and this is what this is doing it's um, pretty good so this is explaining to you if you are flying from say the UK and it's winter and you're flying to like Singapore Australia something like that then it wouldn't be winter there it'll be it'll be summer and it's, it, it changes that in the sim too um, and like I said before this is regional variations so um, certain parts of the world will have different types of trees obviously um, and it corrects some of the mistakes in the sim for these these countries they are going to add more I believe so for example New Zealand it takes out trees what wouldn't be in New Zealand and replaces them with um, more accurate looking trees, size, shape and colour. Um, and obviously this is it's we put deciduous trees in now, which I think most of them were pine trees, weren't they? And this is an interesting piece. This actually changed the size of the trees. A lot of people were complaining that they were just um, too tall the trees so now you have the option to have default um, 
you can have them tall or you can have them short which I think um, makes a big difference and also you, they've um, changed the way the canopy looks so it's not um, all uniform now and um, all the same height they have re uh, irregular heights um, different trees mixed in to um, to the, the tree canopies as you can see different heights different colors so it's, uh, it's um it's really good also you can change the overall tone of the of the colors so obviously you've got warm and you've got cool and you've just got neutral so i'll take a little look at the actual app before we go into the sim and see um, what colors and what difference it makes so let's take a look at the actual app when you start the app if you have automation um, set up it will run straight away and inject that day's um, seasons and colors into the sim so if you haven't run the sim for a couple of weeks, couple of months, it'll be a, it'll probably be quite a big change from when you last flew in the sim. If you prefer just to have um, a preset, each season has four different presets, um, as you can see. So you've got um, summer, autumn, and winter. In the automation, you can set up a, a time where it just in, uh, injects it every day if you want to but like i said if you just run this program before you start your sim it'll inject that day's colors into the sim and you can close it you don't need to run it in the background it just injects it into i think it's a BG, bgl folder and then you have your settings this is where you can change quite a bit obviously you've got to tell it where the, the, your, your folder is this is about updating the program and here you can change the color tone like we've seen on the website i always have it set to neutral the tree height i like it shorter but like i say you can have it tall or default um you can have um, the canopy when you're flying over a, a large forest or a woodland area you can have it the, like default which is rounded or you can have it irregular so it's like you know different heights now you can just restore it back to the original um, default trees in the flight sim very easily done just by pressing um, restore so there that's it that's pretty easy um, pretty straightforward There's no nothing difficult about it so um, now we're gonna I have it set to um, automate automated so where I'm living now in the UK at this time, it's just becoming autumn. Just leaving summer, it's just becoming autumn. It's September now. Um, so what I'll do, I'll do one. Ex I'll do spring, and I'll pick something which has got plenty of trees. So I'll pick this one for now, and apply this to the sim to show you. Okay. After this, this disable auto first. Okay, and then go back to spring. Pick the one I want, and then apply to sim. It asks you again what you want. So I'll keep it as that is. Install. Let's give you a little idea how long it takes to install into your sim. <coughs> it takes less than a minute. And there we go installing the files done and then you press finished and then you can actually close this down and start your sim so we'll go we'll jump into the sim and show you the spring trees and we'll be setting on uh, the spring season the spring has sprung season so I've loaded into the sim I'm at my home my home airport um, Liverpool EGGP I'll just pick this small um, piece of woodland here on the side of the um, taxiway and as you can see the colors uh, different shapes and sizes um, different types of trees as you can see pretty good 
Um, if I can just, uh, if we just go down a piece a little bit, you can see the height. Now this is on the small height. And when I load back in next, I'll change it to a different season, and I'll also change them into into larger trees to see the difference. So these work out the 75% smaller than default and the larger ones are 125% so 25% larger than default. So these are the small ones in, I think we picked spring didn't we, in spring. So as you see the winter, the winter what am I talking about, the autumn um no sorry right yeah, the winter colors are changing into spring there's a little bit of uh yellows there right okay so i'm going to load back in i'm going to pick autumn with larger trees and i'll try to get back as close to where they am now to see uh see the changes Okay, so we're back in the sim and I've changed it to the autumn setting which I showed you earlier in the video. Um, as you can see it's a massive difference to the spring one. The trees um, look to me much taller. Let's see if, it, if we can come down a bit more and low to the ground. Yeah, they're to me they're much bigger than um, the small version. You can noticeably bigger, and the colours are amazing, really. Whoops, I'm not good with this uh, thing. Try and go a bit higher. Have a look at her. around a bit more. See the difference of the colours and the shading. As you see, if you look at the, to me, the, them trees are a bit too big. That's why I pick the 75%. Um, but it's all personal choice. And these colours may not be um, UK colours. I can't remember what setting, because some settings are particular to a certain region of the world. So this may not be a good representation of winter, um, sorry, autumn in the UK um, I was just doing it for demonstration purposes to show you that how different it looks I think it looks pretty good so yeah there you go Rex Accu Seasons well worth a buy it's not I think it's something like 11 or 12 pounds on the on just flight that's where I bought it from I'd never seen it before I just bought it straight away because it was so cheap and it does a big difference to your sim so I hope you liked this video if you did please subscribe and like the video and I'll be back soon Thank you.